So technology is tricky for a lot of people, but for our elders, it is especially challenging. Yo, honestly, I can't tell you how many times my mom has called me to ask for help with something as simple as adding an attachment to an email. But nothing irritates me more than when the elders hit me up to ask for something social media related. It's like, why are you even on social media, fam? But now I understand. Uh, after we all heard Shannon Sharp clap some cheeks on IG Live, maybe I need to be a little bit more empathetic in helping the aging boomers figure out technology and social media specifically. Uh, by now, we have all heard the audio of Shannon getting busy. Uh, by the way, you are a real freak if you listen for the entire thing. Uh, initially, Shannon or whoever runs his socials tried to say that he had been hacked, but it was clear that it was his voice in the video, especially when I heard him say, this ass is mine. Uh, I don't know if you heard that, but I did hear that one line. Inevitably, Shannon on YouTube Live copped to the video and admitted he was indeed the one putting in the work we all heard and were snickering at, and despite promoting a male sexual enhancing drug on multiple occasions, seemed very sincere in his embarrassing apology, in his embarrassment and apology, excuse me. Uh, the YouTube Live was hilarious for me. Chad Johnson was hysterical. Uh, and I guess the only thing to do at that point is to laugh at yourself when something like this happens. Uh, I felt like Shannon tried on uh, just one too many times to promote his stroke game. Game, but I guess that's what you're supposed to do as well. You got to promote the stroke game when everybody was hearing it, uh, especially when you're 60 years old. Anyway, Samaria, I'm, I'm off on a tangent right now. Uh, I'm going to give Shannon the fumble of the week uh, just for not knowing how to use technology. I'm not going to shame him, uh, you know, for, for having sex because he's an adult. Uh, but do you think this incident will lead to Shannon's dismissal at ESPN? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. But what I will say is... Um, I think it's scripted, but we're going to go down. I literally watched the live. I took notes because I was like, what is going on? At one point, there were 213,000 people in the chat, 213,000 people. And like you just mentioned, he had some erection uh, appeals that he was promoting. I don't know if they were uh, they were doing sponsorships with him before, but they definitely were on there yesterday. Several times he made sure to promote all of uh, Nightcap's like the paraphernalia, all that stuff, anything that he has. He's like, y'all go follow my media company before they even got started. Um, at the beginning, Shannon was laughing. Ocho Cinco was disgusted and so was I. I do not joking. understand how you- can Ocho Cinco was joking. He was disgusted and I was disgusted. <laughs> how do you throw a phone on the, as many buttons as it takes to get on IG Live, as many times as they ask you, like, are you sure you want to go live? And you're trying to tell me you threw your phone on the bed and then the live just came on. Like, it, it's something off about that. And this is where I really, at first I was like, okay, this is sincere, right? He said he was embarrassed, he cried, all of these things. But when he said that Cat Williams called him, and the first thing that Cat said was, oh, I guess they're gonna have to debunk these gay rumors. I feel like Wendy right now, like, what does this mean? This is what this was for the gay rumors. He kept talking about how he gets down. Rodney, why are you continuously talking about how you get down in the bed, how you do these things? He literally said, I wrote it down. These draws will be in the hall of fame. Shannon Sharp yeah. on September 11, 2024. He's making- Rodney, it, it came. And then, and then you got Ocho like, well, see, it was a Michelle and not a Michael. It seemed to me like it was scripted. And this was to, like I said, dispel those rumors that have been lingering around him, like a dark cloud that maybe he's gay or whatever. And obviously if that's how you roll, like that's on you. But I feel like that's what it was because he used this opportunity to make more money. It was a marketing thing. And it was also for him to be able to tell the world how good his stroke game is. And that is not the, like if this was like legit, I feel like it would have been like a written statement. He not you up here an playing apology, though. with- what, what did he need to well, apologize Well then don't for? say anything. Like, okay, well don't no, no, say no, no, anything. No, gonna, That's what I'm saying. What? It felt like no, it was- right, I mean, No. It felt you gotta like say it something. was scripted. Okay, to okay, me, you could have like... written, written, written out a statement from your team. It seemed to me like the way that they were talking in the live is that he want his goal was to make sure that people knew that he liked women and that he was going to keep having sex with women because, but he's going to leave his phone in the car. It did yeah, not. It, it, 
I, I think that Shannon was fine with the rumors swirling about him. They've been going on for a very, very long time. He's never had to, he never felt compelled to go on IG Live before. And at this stage of his life, like at 56 years old, I don't think he feels like he has to oversell who, what his, what his sexual orientation is. So I he think did this was that, Rodney, on the line. That's all he did on the live yeah, was oversell. I think he, but I think he's, I think he's making light of a situation. He is turning. He is turning grapes into wine. This is what he's doing. Like this is a crazy situation. Forget it, man. I'm just gonna lean into it. That's what he. That's what you have to do in situations like this. You can't be up there all distraught, man. I can't believe I'm back. Like there's a point in it, and he is in the media game, right? Like he is. He is a storyteller, and he's had one of the best careers. Or not me, one of the best years for anybody in media, starting at the top of the year with his Cat Williams interview. I think that he just did a masterful job of owning this moment, taking it, making light of a situation. It's a, it's something that was that was unfortunate that that happened but I don't know what kind of sheets he has like there are sheets that literally if you put your phone face down it'll, it'll just start tapping buttons like that like that's a thing maybe he has a, a crack in his screen and, it, and he has a, a screen sensitivity there are a lot of things that could have taken place that got him on IG live he has never gone on IG live before in his life and so I don't think his first time venturing on IG live was him getting you know some draws like I just don't I don't see that being the scenario I think this is all just coincidence like if my tape leaks, okay. if I have a tape that ever leaks, like I'm just like I'm, I'm I have to lean into it, you know. Like I, I'm gonna just be like, "Hey man, this is what I, this is what I got. This is who I am. This is how I get down." Because anything anything short of that, right, is counterproductive to his business model. He is in the business of generating eyeballs, and so when an incident happened that generated some eyeballs. He took it a step further, got a, got a, a sponsorship, right? And then had 213,000 people in the live. That video will now go on YouTube and probably go on to do five or 10 million views. That's another big check. I turned a moment of embarrassment and shame into financial gain. That's what most of society does. We watch reality TV and all these marriage and love shows, people turning their embarrassing love life into public fodder. That's what he did. Well, y'all let us know your thoughts on my fumble of the week. Uh, do you feel like Shannon Sharp was intentionally on IG Live clapping cheeks or was this all just a mistake? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section.